Hi guys and girls, this is Clint down in Texas, and I'm going to do a little bit of talking about badger trapping. There's not a whole lot complicated about it. Depending on where you are in the country, badgers can be anywhere from $30 to, I've heard, prices up to $100 when you get in South Dakota and stuff. So if you've got badger, I'm going to show you a quick, down and dirty, easy way to catch them because they're not that difficult, to be honest with you. They're not much harder than catching a skunk. But you have to, you know, there's some things to take into account on your badgers that you need to be aware of. This contraption you're looking at right here is a quail feeder. Now, quail feeders have got some, uh, it's like a buffet for an animal. The, the biggest problem with badgers when it comes to doing predator control is they really destroy quail nest and turkey nest and stuff like that. As far as them eating the mice and stuff that are around these quail feeders, no big deal. I seriously doubt they're catching quail. But here's just a, a simple flag. I've got basically, right here was where my trap was at. And then I had a small trench dug out. Had my trap back about 16, 18 inches. And it was on a drag. Now these animals are not the monsters that a lot of people make them out to be. I think a raccoon's a whole lot meaner, to be honest with you. But uh, since I've been shooting the video, he's getting a little aggravated here. But the ranch wants me to get rid of as many badgers as we can because they're trying to raise quail here. And the quail have a rough go, but everything's either trying to eat them or the eggs. So when I saw badger tracks up here around this quail feeder, I threw this set in real quick, and two days later, here's what we've got. Now, I don't normally use stakes, especially when I know I'm going to be catching badgers, because if you do, they're going to make a tremendous amount of mess. When you put them on drags or cables, long cables, especially tied up higher into a tree, you don't normally have to dig the badgers out. I didn't have to dig this one out. He still made somewhat of a mound. But if you're going to run stakes like a disposable, a lot of time the badger will dig your stake up out of the ground. Most of the time he'll still be there, but you're going to have to dig around and find him. He'll be underneath the soil. But by using a drag, he's not going to bury himself with 8 to 10 foot of chain. So besides I don't have to put in a stake, it, it allows me with these badgers an easier remake and I don't have to worry about them digging my stake up. Okay, here's the set. You can see what it looks like straight ahead. Badger just came out of it. What I've got is just, I just take my, my fireman's tool or Pulaski or Matic, whatever you have, or hammer, and I just dig out a trench a couple of feet deep. I pick the places between two clumps of grass just to help me cheat a little bit on labor I've got turkey feathers grass feathers off a of turkey thrown in the back with a little bit of dirt thrown on to hold them then I've got boss dog lure that's thrown on there that's what this badger was caught on it's a coyote lure badger seem to really like it and then when I come out here to the trap you don't have to use a CDR guy or trap or guys this big to catch a badger that's that's not the, I'm using these because I've got them and I want that big pan. But you notice I've got three sticks on each side of the jaw that just lines him up in the chute. I don't want the trap close because if he somehow gets across there without catching it, I've got two back feet that I can catch. And if he comes back at this way, I've got two, free, two front feet and two back feet to catch again. So that's the reason I'm using that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up, show you what the finished set looks like. Just gonna sift the dirt over the trap. like so notice I got a big pile on top which is fine that's kind of what I'm looking for okay I've got that pile and I'm gonna take my hand you got to trust your equipment I'm gonna feather that out 
looks natural now. All he's going to see are those feathers. When he gets inside the kill area of the trap, he's going to get caught. We get to catch another one of those. Like I said, catching a badger is not difficult. Don't make it difficult. Don't make it complicated. The simpler the set is for a badger, the better off you're going to be. He doesn't need you to be tricky for, in order for you to catch him. Just keep it simple. Keep stacking the fur.